Surface Pro Screen Flickering, the hidden issue in my DIY fix. Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Weekend. Today, we're diving into an issue I face with my Microsoft Surface Pro that I believe many of you might encounter if you own one. It started as an occasional flicker on the screen and ended up with the screen being ripped apart. Let's break down what happened, why it happened, and what I'm doing to turn this disaster into a new DIY project. It all started with a small flicker on the screen, once in a while, nothing major. I thought, okay, maybe it's a software glitch. But over time, things got worse. Occasionally, the device would turn off when disconnected from the charger. Still, I ignored it, thinking it was just aging. But here's the twist. The real issue was growing silently inside, literally. The battery had started to expand. And when I finally checked the surface after a few weeks of being in use, the screen had lifted off from one corner. The culprit? A dangerously swollen battery that had pushed against the screen like hydraulic equipment. Let me show you the signs I missed so you can avoid this situation. The first sign was the occasional flickering. Cooling the surface helped, and even sticking it in the freezer temporarily fixed it. But that's not a real solution. It's just a band-aid. Next, I noticed the device wouldn't stay on without external power. That's a clear indicator that the battery is failing. Finally, there was a faint crack line on the screen, barely noticeable. This was the last warning. And unfortunately, I left it in use for weeks after that. When I came back, the screen was beyond saving. So, why does this happen? The Surface Pro's battery is glued tightly inside the device. When the battery starts expanding, the screen is the weakest point, so it gets pushed out. One theory is that the heat from the processor, which sits right above the battery, gradually affects its lifespan. If you notice any of these symptoms, screen flickering, shutting off without power or small cracks, don't ignore them. Take action before the damage becomes irreversible. Since my screen was already damaged, I decided to turn this problem into an opportunity. Instead of replacing the screen, I'm repurposing my Surface Pro as a backup server and background processor. Here's what I've done so far. Remove the expanded battery. This step requires care because swollen batteries are hazardous. I used a heat gun to gently melt the adhesive without overheating the device. Set up external display. The Surface Pro has a mini display port. So I bought a mini display port to HDMI adapter to connect it to an external monitor for setup. Added USB ports. I got a USB hub for peripherals like a keyboard, mouse, and storage devices. Planned a new power solution. Since the charging circuit seems faulty, I'm building an external power supply with a UPS to ensure uninterrupted power. Improve cooling. I'm designing a custom cooling mechanism to keep it running smoothly under heavy loads. That's where I'm at so far. The Surface Pro is far from dead. It's just taking on a new role in my DIY lab. If you're facing similar issues with your Surface or any device, remember to act early. Ignoring signs like flickering screens or battery problems can lead to bigger disasters. Music 
What do you think about my plan? Do you have ideas for how I can make this project even better? Drop your suggestions in the comments. If you found this video helpful or inspiring, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Project Weekend, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next update where I'll show you how this server project turns out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative and keep building.